travels far and wide. A traveler is someone who goes to many, many, many places. Have you ever traveled anywhere before? Pernah pergi cuti tak? Pergi mana-mana? Pernah? Yes? Oh, then you're a traveler too. If you travel to places, that means you're a traveler too. Yes. So, yes. so this traveler, <clears throat> he lived a long, 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 long time ago. And today we're going to be following him on his journey. Do you want to follow the traveler today? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I love that energy. Okay. So let's go. Uga chaka, uga chaka, uga chaka. So the traveler, on this particular day, he got to a mountain. Is the mountain tall? It's so high. It's so high. I know, right? If you go up the mountain, do you think you'll be tired? Yes. 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 Of course. Yes. Yes. Of course. yes. I know it's so high. But this traveler, he is strong. He is resilient. And so he climbed the mountain. Uga chaka, uga chaka, uga chaka. And when he got to the top of the mountain, he decided to take a little break. He's like, oh, oh, okay, okay, I made it. Now, okay, one second. And then he went down the mountain. Uga chaka, uga chaka, uga chaka. He said, I won't give up. I'll keep on going. And he goes up the other hill. Uga chaka, uga chaka, uga. Uga. Now, <clears throat> at this point, he is really, really tired. But do you think the traveler continued? Uh, yes! Of course he did, because he's a professional traveler, right? So he goes down the hill. Uga chaka, uga chaka, uga chaka. So, <clears throat> that journey down the hill, it's a little slower. But that's natural. It's because he is tired. God. Now, after climbing two mountains, how do you think the traveler feels? <laughs> the traveler feels hungry. Okay, when you're hungry, bila kita lapar, perut kita buat bunyi macam mana? That's right. It's starting a rock band right in his belly right there. The traveler, he is so, 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 so hungry. And he wishes, he wishes that he could find a village soon. So that he can get some food, get some rest, meet some new people. And with that in mind, he continued his journey. La, 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 la. So he kept walking. He kept walking until he reached a small village. Oh, oh, finally, a village. Just what I needed. He said hi to the first person he met there. Hi there. And this person said, oh, a visitor? And the traveler said, yeah. I came from so, so far away. I climbed two mountains on the way here. I walked. It's, it's been a really long day. Do you think I can stop by and rest here? And the girl said, um, sure. You, you, can, you can rest in our village. Welcome to our village. My name is Bibi. And the traveler said, hi, Bibi. Mm, Bibi. Do you think that you have some food to spare? I've really run out of food on my journey. So if you have some, do you think you can share some with me? And BB said, um, <clears throat> um, I'm sorry, traveler, but I don't have that much food. I think all I have is a few ferns. And it's, I'm sorry, 
I'm gonna need it for myself. And the traveler, he said, you know what, baby, I, that's okay. Um, maybe I can ask someone else in the village. And BB said, sure. You can keep on, if you keep on walking, you'll meet some of the other villagers. And so the traveler kept walking. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So he reached another part of the village and he met two other people. When he saw them, he said, hi. And the first person he saw said, oh, hi. And the other person he saw said, oh, hi there. What are you doing here in our village? I've never seen you before. And the traveler said, yes, I've, yeah, this is my first time here, buddy. Um, I really traveled a long, 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 long way. So it's really, really nice to meet all of you. Um, do you guys have any food that you can spare for me? And the first girl said, I'm sorry, all, all I have, all I have is a carrot. And that's, that's all I have at the moment. I. I'm sorry, I can't share that with you. That's so little as it is. And the traveler, he's like, oh, it's fine, it's fine. And the other guy said, oh, um, I, I have some, I have some meat, but, uh, uh, uh that there's just enough for me. Um, um, I, I don't think I can, share some with you at the moment i'm gonna have to go and hunt and the traveler said you know what it's fine it's fine oh how about this is there a place in this village where i can cook and the villagers told him oh uh yeah sure if you keep on walking there is a cooking pot where you can cook and the traveler said, oh, perfect. I'm going to make something yummy for all of us. And so he kept on walking and walking and walking until <clears throat> he reached the cooking pot. Whoa, this is huge, he said. And he yelled out to the other villagers, well, guys, I'm going to use this to cook if you don't mind. And everyone's like, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, go ahead and use it, buddy. And he said, <clears throat> all right, um, just you guys wait. I'll make something yummy for all of us. And so he sets down his things, he lit a fire, and he took out a rock from his little rucksack. And he said, hey, everyone, um, <clears throat> the menu today is going to be stone soup. I'm going to be making stone soup. And everyone's like, is this guy for real? He's going to cook stone. But they just let him be. So he put the stone into this pot and he started stirring he let it cook in the pot he put in some water and as this is going on he begins saying stuff like oh wow i think it's gonna be a great stone soup today that's right mm. <clears throat> i'm already smelling hints of stone <laughs> it's already starting to smell good, but I think it would be much, much better, just a little bit better, if I could have <clears throat> just a little ingredient. Uh, if, I, if only I knew someone has some ingredients to spare. And the other villagers, intrigued, because they keep hearing this guy standing over this pot. They keep hearing him say like, oh, this soup is going to go well. It's going to taste good. So they're curious. And one by one, they decided to give it a chance. 
one of them approached the traveler and he said, oh, uh, I guess I can give you the meat that I have, um, <clears throat> but can I please have some soup later, sir, traveler? And the traveler's like, great, that's perfect. That 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 is definitely gonna take the stone soup to the next level and so into the pot the piece of meat goes and so the traveler he's there like mm, mm. and the villager is like uh how, how's it going traveler is it getting better and the traveler said, yeah, can you smell that? Can you smell that, Kiki? And Kiki, this guy's name is Kiki, by the way, he said, oh, you're right. I'm starting to smell the rich smell of meat. And the traveler says, see, with just one ingredient, this stone soup is already at the next level. And when the other villagers, when they hear this, another one comes up to the traveler and says, um, traveler, I have some fern. Um, do you think it, do you think it would make the stone soup better? And the traveler said, why, yes, that, that would be perfect. And so he takes the fern and into the pot it goes. And so the stone soup <clears throat> continues to cook in the pot. And the other villagers, they're still watching him cook. And they asked him, Traveler, how's it going? Is it going well? How's the, how's the soup? And the traveler's like, he says, oh, <clears throat> let me take a sip, guys. So he takes a spoon and he, and he tastes the soup. And he says, whoa, 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 whoa. When you added the fern, the taste, it, it just, it just keeps getting better. It just keeps getting better. I think we're onto something good here, guys. And the other traveler, the other villagers, when they hear this, they're like super, super excited. They say, oh, wow. Um, I go, they, start, they start swallowing their saliva because, you know, the smell of the soup, it's starting to smell better and better and better. And they're like, I, I wish, I can't wait to taste the soup. And so with that, another villager comes up and the villager said, I have this carrot from a while back that I found. Um, do you think, do you think if we add it to the soup, it'll make it better? And the traveler says, oh, why don't we put it in there and try it out? And so he takes the carrot and sploosh into the pot it goes. And. Now that they're all there, right? <clears throat> they're all standing around the cooking pit, around the cooking pot, just listening to the sound of the soup bubbling in the pot. They're looking at each other, they're looking at the traveler, and there's just one question on their mind. How does the soup taste now? The traveler, he says, well, well, can you close your eyes and sniff the air and tell me what you smell? And the other villagers, they say, oh, oh, what is this smell? Oh, it smells so good. It smells even better than before. <gasps> that stone must be magical because they've never smelled something as good as amazing. So the soup, it continues cooking for a while, and boom, it's ready, the traveler said. Dig in, guys, the stone soup is finally ready. We can all have a meal together. 
And so everyone gathered around the pot and they sat and they ate and they laughed and they just had a really good time with each other. Do you guys like sharing food with your friends and family? Siapa suka makan sama-sama with your family and friends? Me. You? I oh, is it fun? Yeah. Does the food taste better when you share with your friends? Yeah. Like you said, yeah. it's fun. Wow. So that's what they felt. The traveler and the villagers, semua makan sama-sama. They all ate together. They all enjoyed the stone soup. And one of them asked, hmm, Traveler, what is this stone that you cook with? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so village to the tanya. He asked the traveler, How come how how is this soup so good? Is the stone magical? Because with just a few ingredients, they get to eat something so 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 delicious. And the traveler said, oh, Well, the magic here is friendship. And the other villagers are like, huh? Friendship? And the traveler says, yeah, because all of us came together and all of us shared what little we had with each other. We managed to come up with something good. So, yeah. And everyone's like, oh, we could have had this way, way earlier if we had all just shared what we had, even though what we had was so little. When you put it together, bila kita buat benda tu sama-sama, we can come up with something great that all of us can benefit from. And so, <clears throat> that marks day one. Okay, it's not actually day one. That marks the end of the story called Stone Soup. Do you guys like it? Yeah. Pasta. Wow. Yeah. Yay! Okay, I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Now... That is just a taste of what a digital story could be like. Why don't we move on to the more technical part of it, all right? So, digital stories, punya, it's similar to that to picture stories, right? Because if you noticed in my digital story, um, there wasn't any there weren't any words. I was basically just winging it the whole time. Um, and that's fine, like, because when you use pictures, there's a lot of ways that you can interpret it. There's a lot of ways for you to tell the story, right? So um, one of the benefits of exploring digital storytelling like this, especially if you're a teacher or if you're just a parent who wants to, like, spice up your at home storytelling sessions. These are just some of the benefits. You get to build communication. Um, I During the story that I told, I asked a few questions, right? Tapi, um, if you wanna add more, if you wanna juice it up a little, you can totally slip in more questions. You can discuss like, what do you see? Maybe you can, um, add in questions like, what do you think will happen? Do you think this person will keep on doing this? Do you think they'll go this way? Do you think they'll go that way? So when you use picture stories, there's a lot of things that you can do with the pictures in the story, okay? Um, another benefit, it nurtures visual thinking skills because the children, they'll be looking at the photos, the images, and they'll be trying to make sense of it. So this is one of the benefits. It's also a good way for you to introduce art because as we all know, there's a lot of art styles out there. And, you know, even locally, we have our own art styles and you can introduce all of, you can introduce the concept of art appreciation to your children and students. Um, through digital stories as well, you know, when you use different types of artwork and things like that. Um, so yeah, uh, another benefit is it makes every telling of the same story fresh and different. 
um, but of course you can prepare some text for you to guide yourself some keywords some cue cards if you're not comfortable with winging it yet um, and that's totally fine uh, this is not a campaign against text stories text-based stories no this is just um, a sharing on how digital stories picture stories it's just another method that is equally as beneficial as other storytelling methods, right? And another benefit, of course, is you can tell the same story in different, def different languages. Earlier, I used mostly English, tapi if I want to tell the story in Basa Melayu pun also can. If you want to tell that story in Mandarin, you can do that, or in Tamil, or in any other language that you can think of. So these are just some of the benefits of picture stories, digital stories, and why you should probably consider um, building that skill for yourself. All right, so <clears throat> now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about prepping your visuals. Okay. You've seen the digital story, you've heard the benefits, and now you're probably wondering, eh, but how do I, how do I make one of these? Because there are digital stories online on certain teaching resources websites, but not all of them are free. So, and not all of the stories that you want to tell, tak semua ada kan? So, you probably want to try creating one yourself, am I right? And um, I'm just going to be going over some basic things that you can consider or pick up on okay so when you prep your visuals let's look at style okay so earlier i had used this type right they're all pretty similar they're all if you notice they're all doodled and it, it was easier for me to control the quality because it because Everything was handmade. So it was easier for me to control the aesthetic and the vibe of the entire digital story because they're all similar and they all fit. But if you're gonna be looking on the internet for the artwork used in your digital story, there's gonna be a lot to choose from, a lot of styles. I see there's a doodle on my slide, but that's fine, that is welcome. Um, so yeah, uh, if you're going to be going on the internet to look for images, I highly recommend that you make sure that all of the artwork, they all somehow match each other, right? Um, oh, oh, wow, we're here. Sorry. We're lying. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're back here. Okay, so... Um, Okay, if you're going to be looking for pictures on the internet, there's going to be a lot, right? Like I said, so when you pick them, hati hati lah. Uh, make sure it's much better if you get something that matches all of the elements so that the entire digital story, they all flow well. Can you imagine if for the stone soup story, I use something like this? Where the character is this style, and then the other elements is this style. It's, I mean, if you think it's okay, then I'm gonna have to <clears throat> respectfully distance myself. But, um, yeah, I'm just saying, just try to look for similar vibes when it comes to your artwork. All right, so next quality. Okay, when we look for images on the internet um there's gonna be a lot and not all of them are gonna be good quality and you're gonna have to really pick the ones that will look good for your story so if you look at these two pictures can you look at a and b which one of these would you pick would you pick this one or this one there. this one are you sure you're going to pick that one? Yes. You sure? Okay, well, the yes. answer is 
The answer is kalau kita nak pilih gambar for our digital story kan. You should not pick any of them. Mm -mm. Nampak tak gambar dia macam pecah-pecah sikit. It's kind of pixelated. Right? It doesn't look as clear. Not as it's definitely not clearer than my future, right? It's <laughs> It's very, very blurry. So, um, another basic and simple thing to keep in mind when you pilih gamba, make sure that they are really, really clear, okay? So that when you put them together, your heart will feel at ease, your audience will feel at ease, and yeah, it'll just be a good time putting together a clear digital story. All right, so next, background. <clears throat> Now, I'm going to exit PowerPoint mode. Okay. So, for background, we're going to be taking a look at how to set as background and how to layer a custom background. I'm going to put it there. Can you guys still see my PowerPoint? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, <clears throat> when we, when we uh, put together our background for our digital story, Okay. okay, um usually what I do is I go to this design panel over here. Okay, I would go to format background and then I would pick picture or texture fill, which is the third one. Bloop, 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 that one. And then I will insert a picture from a file. Okay. All right. Let's go with this one. And that's how I set the background so that bila, when I have other things like other elements look at the pen, I won't risk accidentally shifting my background. So if I move things around, it'll just be whatever that I want moving around instead of the background, right? Let's say <clears throat> you search so far and wide. Oopsies. Let's say you go around on the internet, but you're having a hard time looking for a nice background. Like it, it just doesn't match your story, and you're like, oh, how do I, how do I put one together? Well, did you know that you can actually do that for using using PowerPoint itself? Okay. Let's say you have other. Oh, you. What is this? Okay, <laughs> let's make it smaller. Okay, let's say you have other elements that you find on the internet. Let's say you have a plain background, you have grass, you have ground, you have clouds. Let's say, okay, let's say I was putting together my background earlier from scratch. Okay, first I'll lay down a base, just like that. And then... Uh, layer on another which is the ground you can use like grass or the beach or it depends on what you want to put together really and then you can just drag in another one okay and if you don't want these to move what you can do is you can go to file you can go save as and you can export it as an image by clicking on this png option so it will save your it will save that file as an image and you can just uh, do the thing that I did earlier where I set that file as a background. Okay, so let's say once you have this saved as an image, you can just do what I did earlier, which is picture, insert from a file, and you pick the one that you did earlier. And just, ah, um, okay, um, there is a line across my screen, but that's okay. We will live with it. We will move on. Okay, so now that background layering is out of out of the way, let's look at movables. Okay, when you look for artwork online, there's going to be a lot. Sometimes you might even get debated by things like this. When I got Google, when you see this um, gray and white squares, you might think like, oh, okay, that one's transparent. That's a PNG file. I can use that. Master Billy, you download your like... 
they fooled me again i have been fooled but you know that's okay um so yeah when you go on the internet when you look for uh pictures that let's say you want to layer it and move it around like the characters that i used earlier uh use a png file look for one and if can you can I mean, you can, when, if you look for it on Google, you can always preview the pictures and make sure that they are fully transparent at the back. No. No? Why? Okay. <laughs> so make sure that they are fully transparent at the back so they won't, you know, give you that weird boxy look. Okay. Um, so that's just on the topic of movables. It's I'm telling you really, really simple stuff here. Okay, so now that we get the visuals out of the way, let's take a look at some simple, simple PowerPoint tricks that some of you might already know. Kan, zaman sekolah dulu, ICT class. I'm pretty sure um, we've all learned a little bit about it. Tapi bila dah besar ni, macam dah lupa-lupa sikit kan? So, uh, yeah. These are just some of the simple PowerPoint tricks that I'll be sharing today. First, we'll be taking a look at motion path, um, entry and exit, and page transition. Okay, so motion path. Uh, you see how, <clears throat> do you remember how I made the character move from one end of the page to the other like that? So what I did is I opened up the animation pane, right? Okay, open the animations tab, okay? And then you click on, you click on the image that you want to animate, right? And then you click on this, add animation. Or you can, since it's your first animation, you can click on this, you see a drop down, and then you'll see motion path all the way here. There's lines, yo. there's lines, arcs, turns, shapes, loops, and custom path. Now, let's say we click on lines. Whoa. Okay. Let's click on animation pane so we see what's going on here. All right. So, when you click anything in front here, lines, arcs, turns, shapes, loops, these are all presets um, that you can use. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, if you click, if you go all the way over here, you'll see effect options. Dekat sini, kalau kita tekan, right? Um, <clears throat> you get to determine the direction in which the thing goes. So let's say you want to make him go to the left. Ta-da! So that's how you would do it. Kalau kita nak dia ke belakang, just click right. If you want him to ascend, wah, just click on up. Okay? So, let's say you want him to go a little bit higher. You can just hover over. You can click click on this. Find the upper point with the red arrow. Click on it. Right? And then you'll see like a preview of where the image would go. And what you can do is you can just drag it. So that when it plays, it goes a little bit higher. But let's say you're like, hmm, I don't want the basic stuff. I want to create my own motion. I want to make him look like he's really, you know, bouncing around, doing his thing. Okay. <clears throat> this. <clears throat> I also want to clear my throat. Okay. So what you can do is you click on the person, the character. Okay. You go down. You look for custom path. And then you click on it. And what this means is that kita boleh lukis sendiri the, the path in which the artwork travels. So, so kita start lukis. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. When you draw your own, you can really make your characters look like they're walking a little bit, right? So yeah, you can play around with it. Let's say you're like... Oh, this guy is moving way too fast. I need him to walk a little slower so I can really enjoy the animation. What you can do is you you go up here, right? You see start, duration, and delay. You go to duration. Oh, see. Okay, you go to duration, and you can increase it just a little bit. Let's say 
four seconds. Preview. See, it's much slower, right? And if you want it to go a little bit faster, you can, of course, make him loot. Okay, so um, definitely, definitely explore it. Explore these motion paths so, and so that you can grow comfortable with it so you know, like, oh, this is what I can do. Like, I want my character to do this. And yeah, just, just play around with it. You can just, it's a really, it's a really user-friendly um, animation tool, really, right? So let's go and take a look at entering and exiting. Okay, for that, I will have to zoom out. Okay, okay. I want to make it look like this guy Dia masuk daripada sini, and he entered the scene, and then he leaves, right? So what I would, what I usually do is in PowerPoint, I zoom it out like this, so I have a little bit of working space around the slide area, and what I do is I put him outside. Oh, the keluar! I put him outside, and I go down, and I make a path. Draw him. Do, 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 do. Put him there. See? So it really looks like he is moving from out of the frame and into the frame, right? If you want to preview it again. Da, 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 da. Okay. Remember how in the story I I think I made him walk into the scene. The pastu I spoke a bit. <laughs> and I uh, told a little bit about what he's doing there. Who is he? The pastor de Kluwakan. And that's all actually done in the same slide. So if you want to layer on another um, another animation after doing your thing, what you do is you click on the character, the image that you want to animate, and then you click on Add Animation. Add Animation. You go down. It's basically the same as the one up here. But this is what you click if you want to tack on another um, animation other than the first one. So you go all the way down to motion path, right? And then try to get to the middle over here. And then basically what you draw is you draw Jalan Kluwada. A little bit outside of the, out of the slide. Yes, that's right. That's right. So, see? Uh... He, let's take a look at it in slide form. Okay. Masuk. La 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 la, blah, 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 blah. Say your stuff. And then, keluar. So that's some basic um, entering and exiting the frame type of stuff. You can do this with literally any, <laughs> any artwork. So yeah, do... Do explore the motion path tool a lot. I I rely on these a lot, if you didn't notice. So, yeah. And that is one of the tricks when it comes to a motion path and entering and exiting. So, now let's take a look at page transitions a little bit. <clears throat> it's very straightforward. Okay. Um, let me just add quickly add on another slide. Right? Remember that thing earlier? Uh, design, format background, picture, insert. Let's go with the second one. Okay, basically what I want to do is I want to make it look like the scene is changing from here to here in a very, in a way that it, it really looks like we're moving through the through the area, right? So what I usually do is, if I want to do that, I usually pick this transition. Okay, you go to the transitions tab, and okay, and then you pick push. Hey, okay, that one it pushes it up, right? You can just like the motion path and the animation tools, you can go all the way here, go to effect options, and you pick. Let's say, hey, that's wrong. No, no, no. I would usually pick here. Ta-da! So it really looks like you're traveling 
from that first area, right, to the next. See, doesn't that look seamless? Like you're really going through like, through the- Hi. 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 Okay. See? Smooth. Like butter. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, again, to do that, I go to transitions and then I use this one, this push one. Of course, the other the other transitions are cool too, but I'm just sharing what I used for my story earlier. I used push. Okay. And then over here. Oh, I want to teach you guys how to, <clears throat> another animation trick, how to layer stuff. Okay. So I have... These, these are all in the Google Drive, by the way. So I have my fire pit, right? Da -da. Arrange this. Da there. And then I have this flame. Oh, but it's in front of the rug. No, no hull. Send it backward. See? And I want to make it look like it's cooking, right? So what I did. What I did is I click on the pot, I go to animations, and then I go to emphasis. Okay, emphasis. So there's no movement other than this. Ta da! So it really gives you that illusion of something cooking, right? Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Right? Okay, so um, I'm I do not have a use for this at the moment, so he will be going. So yeah, those are some of the simple PowerPoint tricks that I actually used for my story earlier, the stone soup story. Um, so I hope that even though our time together is short, I hope that you guys can explore these tools out, the animation tools, the transition tools, how to set up your background kind of thing that kind of vibe um i hope that you guys can explore this uh later and as you explore we're excited to announce that we're having a little contest a digital storytelling with genius outlet contest that is the official hashtag up there so um we've had like we had like a little workshop together right so after this workshop you go back i mean you're your home, I'm assuming. So what you do is you make a simple animation using the artwork given. Get on Google Drive too. There are a few files in there. Um, you try to make use of them and you use PowerPoint to create a simple animation using some of the tricks that I taught you guys earlier. And when you're done, you post it on Instagram or Facebook and you tag our official account, Genius Outlet, at Genius Outlet with the hashtag digital storytelling with Genius Outlet. And if you guys, we're going to look through all of that and our favorite tree, the top tree, we will give you a copy of the Stone Soup digital story. So if you're a teacher or if you're a parent, young, not like if you guys want to tell the story yourself using an already made digital story, that story could be yours. We're giving it away to the top tree, okay? So siapa yang boleh buat a nice animation? Doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to see <laughs> want to see you guys put it into practice, okay? So if you guys manage to do that, we'll give you a copy of the Stone Soup digital story and some bonus artwork because if you look at the story earlier, there's a lot more characters, a lot more elements and whatnot. So, siapa yang nak uh, digital story too? And who wants the bonus artwork? Y'all can do this. And I think we'll give it a week. A week? Yeah, we'll pick a winner. We'll pick the winners next week, next weekend. Okay, so all the best. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys for Thank joining you, today's workshop. Thank you, teacher. Aww. Aww. I hope you guys had a good time and you guys. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum.